What's up, guys? Welcome back once again. Friends, the name of today's story that we are going to explain is The Father. Well, a village in South America where we see some people, one of which is the family of List. Here we come to know that List is mute and cannot speak, and she is married to a man who also has a son named Matthew. And after the marriage of List, she has a daughter named Sam. They live here happily and understand each other, but they do not know that one day their happiness will end. Now we get to see on Friday the whole family was going together towards the church in which there is also List. But when she goes there and hears the voice of the new priest, she gets scared with fear. She looks towards him hesitantly, but only one thing was going on in her mind that what she is thinking may not come true, but when she sees it, she realizes that this is her past. But what is the relation between this priest and List, and why is she afraid of him so much? Now you will come to know all this in some time. That priest starts giving religious speech to everyone. He says that God has not sent him so that he can guide all the people on the right path, but can bring and explain to those who have gone astray. On the other side, List was just looking at him as if in front of his eyes he was back again yesterday. After some time the prayer ends and everyone comes out. Then a pregnant lady living in the village is having labor pain. It starts, so List helps her. But in this we come to know that either she can save the child or her mother, List decides that she will save the mother's life, which was also correct. But the next day, when she goes to Nathan's house, who is the husband of the same girl, when she went to inquire about the girl's well-being, he refused to let her inside and told her that the priest had called the doctor. We don't need you anymore. Hearing this, List felt very strange, but she did not say anything and left for home. But on the way home, she noticed that the nature of the villagers seemed to have changed and all this happened after the arrival of that priest. That day, late at night, Nathan comes to her house under the influence of alcohol and starts firing bullets and says that because of him, his son died. Then Lay realizes that the priest must have provoked him. Then the priest comes there and takes him away. Seeing this, List Dad Alloy calls him inside and thanks him for saving his life. Here, priest starts entertaining them with his sweet words, then he speaks to List and says that you know why I have come here so that I can take revenge from you. I know how much you love your family. I have started seeing a glimpse of a woman in your daughter Sam. She gets scared after listening this and starts crying out of fear. So Alloy says, don't worry, we will move out from here to another village tomorrow. But first I will have to sell my animals so that we can get some money. Now the next day when Matthew goes to see those sheep... He gets shocked because someone had killed all his animals, and when Alloy sees this, he understands that it was Nathan's doing, but List knew. Who can do this? On the other hand, Ali leaves to complete his part with Nathan, while List blindfolds Sam and makes him sit outside so that when they clean the inside, she does not see any kind of blood. She should not be afraid, but as soon as she goes inside the gate, someone closes her door due to which she gets scared and starts screaming. When she looks through the cracks of the gate, the same priest comes there near Sam and takes her somewhere with him, takes it away. Seeing this, List was struggling to get out, and in the process, her foot slips and she falls and becomes unconscious. After some time, we see that Ali has returned, and now List also regains consciousness. He tells him that Nathan has left the village along with his family. Then who can kill our animals? Just then Sam comes running there, seeing which List gets some relief, but she was talking strange things. After pampering her a lot, she asks a very strange question to her mother. Have you murdered anyone? Now List had no answer to this. She was helpless. After all, what should he explain to this innocent person? She spent the whole night thinking about what answer she should give to her daughter. But when the next night comes, she decides that today she will take revenge from that priest. That's why she goes out with the horse to take revenge. Her house was empty, and there was no one there. When she removes his bed, a doll was lying there, and then we are shown List's house. Actually, the priest had reached List's house, and now he takes Sam with him. This was one of his tricks. Here, when Alloy opens his eyes after hearing the sound of movement, he sees. There is some light in this shed. Maybe someone has come again to kill his sheep. He immediately reaches there with a gun, but as soon as he enters inside... The priest cuts him out with a knife, leaving him there like a living corpse, but remains laying. After some time, when she takes himself there, she feels very bad seeing Alloy in such a condition. 
Maybe all this is happening because of her, because the priest tells Alloy most of the time that he is doing all this because List loves him and he will take away all the happiness and persons whom she love. Then Sam comes running while Alloy looks outside. Someone had burnt his entire house and this was due to Priest. But List would immediately leave for her relative's house with her child. But why is she doing all this? How can a father have any enmity towards daughter? To know all this, let us start chapter 2 of the story whose name is Exodus, which means migration of many people to another place at the same time. Here we see a thirteen-year-old girl wandering in the desert with bare feet and in poor condition, and after walking some distance she falls, and then a man with horse cart comes there. He had his family behind him. He gives him water to drink and also gives him something to eat, but she has to pay a very heavy price for this water. He takes her and sells her to a place where this girl's life was about to become hell. It was a brothel where many people used to come every day and force themselves on the girls. The name of that little girl is Juana, who knew very well what was happening here, but she is still innocent and does not tell anything to anyone. Seeing his innocence, a girl named Sali takes care of him. She doesn't fear that she may face the same fate as those people here every day. She starts giving him more strength. She started pushing him not to sleep with someone as much as possible. One day, one such man's eyes fall on Juana, and he starts holding her hand, but then Sali comes and stops him, and she goes with him into the room, and there he starts treating Sali like an animal. He also started hurting Juana, and this Sali could not see, so she shot that man, and when the owner of the place, Finn, comes to know about this, he goes mad with anger because this will bring disgrace to his place, and hence he hangs Shaley in front of everyone and gives the message that if any other girl does this again, the same thing will happen to her. Juana is completely horrified to see this. Now, after passing of Saal, time started passing slowly. Jo Anna had started growing up, and she also had to do all that there because other girls do it. At this time he meets a girl named Elisabeth, who happens to be her very good friend. Both of them spent a lot of time together, but one day a drunk man starts beating Elizabeth, and in response she also raises her hand on him. When Film, who is the owner of this place, comes to know about this, he cuts her tongue so that she cannot speak anything further. All these things may seem as easy to say as they are painful to see. After tongue was cut, Elizabeth now started talking to Juana in sign language, because now she will have to talk like this for the rest of her life. But after several days have passed, she says that she has to leave from here, have to marry a man, set up your own home. So one day, both of them go to a shop to apply for marriage, where Juana finds a family in which a man's first wife died, and now he lives with his daughter, lives in a village. When she also asks him to come with me, he agrees, and then one night both of them make a plan to run away from here. But on the same day, some rich man comes here and he buys the entire brothel for one night but he did not want anyone to see him, so he calls everyone down together, but he was looking for a special and beautiful girl, and that search is fulfilled by seeing Anna. She has that blindfold on her eyes, but when she removes the blindfold, she is shocked, because this was the person who... She was running away, and this is also the same priest we saw at the beginning of the story, but don't get confused. You guys, the story that is going on right now is from the past. Well, here the priest says that I did not search for you anywhere, but I didn't know that you would find me here. Well, now that you have met me, marry me and become mine. But Juana refuses this, so he gets angry and starts accepting her, and hearing Juana's scream, Elizabeth comes running into the room. She attacks the priest, but the priest attacks her again, due to which her friend Elizabeth is killed. Seeing such a condition of her friend, Giovanna was very angry, and that is why she stabbed the priest in the neck from behind and then set the room on fire and ran away from there. She goes straight to a doctor and asks him to cut her tongue, but why is she doing this? The doctor asks her this question, but she doesn't tell anything, just asks to cut the jeep. After that, she goes straight from there to South America. Going to the village where her marriage was fixed, she changed her name from Juana to List. This was the family of Anoy, who already had a son, Matthew. Les started living happily with him, and this is how she met Anoy. But we still haven't got the answer to the question why the priest is after her. What is the past of both of them? To know this, let us go back a little further. The third chapter of this story is named Genesis, meaning where did the story begin? 
So in the beginning we see two men who are attacked by some people, but they still somehow survived, and from here scene shifts to a small village, where we see Anna and her family she has been living here for the last 17 years. She also has a daughter whose name is Juana, who is just 13 years old, whose father is the same priest whom we saw in the beginning of the story. Yes, you heard it right. He is Juana's father. He is a full believer in religious ideas, and he believes that women's bodies do not belong to them but to their husbands, and they can do whatever they want with them, and that is why in these past years Anna has been visiting that priest every day. She is tolerating the beatings that come from her husband, but she has not allowed her daughter to suffer all these things. He has been kept away from her, but not for long because the priest has become so crazy that he cannot leave even his daughter. One day, everyone gathers in the church where the priest gives a religious speech. Everyone starts accepting his words without thinking anything, whether he is speaking right or wrong. All those people start telling him about their dreams, and he is happy to hear this because people were listening to him. After this, he calls Ayana and asks her if she saw anything. So she refuses, and hearing this, he gets angry and humiliates her in front of everyone. Juana was watching all this sitting at a distance. After a few days, Juana gets her first period. She tells this to her mother, but her mother was getting whipped by her dad, because he did not support them in the church. Juana has been watching all this since childhood. The next day she's cleaning her blood-stained clothes, but she comes in front of him and hugs him. She was explaining to him that today a new phase begins in your life. It's done. You don't need to be afraid. Now the priest standing at a distance was watching all this, and as soon as Rana came, he started explaining to him that now you have to stop treating Juana like a child, she is a woman, and this thing is very difficult for Anna to understand. It seems strange because no father talks like this about his daughter. He now starts looking at Juana with dirty eyes, and has stopped calling her daughter. One day he enters the bathroom and says, I'm going to bathe her. Ayana leaves from there, but she was listening to his conversation in which she listens him saying, God has created you a woman for a purpose, and that purpose is that you have to believe everything said by men. One has to bow before them. Now one day we would see the same two people coming in this direction, which were rung in the desert. Juana got scared after seeing their injured condition and take them into an animal house. She treats them, but the second man is rude. That is why the first man, whose name is John, asks Juana to leave from there. On the other hand, one day we see the priest peeping inside Juana's room while she was changing clothes. Anna sees him doing this and protests why he's doing all this. He says, what shame is there in this? Now she is a woman and I can have any kind of relationship with her. I can also get married. Hearing all this, Anna screams and says that you are a pig who casts dirty glances on his own daughter. Now hearing this, the priest goes mad and starts beating her and locks her mouth like a slave. On the other hand, we see John who has understood that Samuel is becoming a threat to whoever is his partner, and so that he can be caught in future, he kills him by hanging him by deceit. Then he cuts his dead body and feeds it to the sheep. Now Juana and John had started spending a lot of time together, and she had also slowly started sharing her relationship with the priest on the beach. One day the priest takes Anna to church in the same condition, so that he can convince people that he can do anything for his religion. That means he can make his wife a slave too. But after going there, he starts talking excessively about his daughter and Anna, due to which Anna is unable to control herself and hangs herself in front of everyone. The entire church is horrified to see this, especially Juana. Seeing all these incidents, Juana was getting increasingly angry, but she was strong because she could not do anything. At night she goes to John and hugs him and tells him her sorrow about her mother's departure. The same priest hits himself in the well and he was angry at himself, and then the next day he goes to Juan and says, You know God has forgiven me because your mother was neither willing to become a wife, wasn't worthy, and neither was the mother. After this, he takes Juana to the animal house and starts forcing herself on her and says that God has chosen us, we have to live together. But then John comes there and the priest kills him, after which he puts the same lock on Juana's mouth and drags her home, where first he beats her badly and then forcibly has sex with her. All these things were completely beyond the truth for Juana. He could not understand what to do, because her father was behind all this. But then she remembers what her mother said, 
always do what your heart tells you. So before the sun rises, Juana runs away, and the priest remains asleep. <laughs>